This is Lazy German because the laziest methods are most effective. Let's talk about vowel combinations, specifically IE and EI. In English, we have these stupid, stupid, weird, confusing, long, complicated, hard to remember mnemonics to remember the weird, complicated, goofy uh, English rules and all of their exceptions. I before E, except after, who knows? So in German, forget all of that. You are going to pronounce, when you see an I and an E together in either order, you're going to pronounce the second vowel as a long sound, like you would in English. So, Einstein is E-I-N-S-T-E-I-N. -E so, E-I-E-I, -E -I, Einstein. Ta-da! Just like the number one is Eins. E-I. So, you see E-I, you can think I. That's the sound. Uh, when it's I-E, guess what? The same rule applies. The second letter takes the sound. So E, you would pronounce it. I-E becomes E in German. If you see that, you can pronounce it that way with confidence. It's amazing. That's it. Pronounce the second letter when vowels are together. Especially, I'm specifically talking about I and E. Uh, I'm sure there are some weirder ones that are not as intuitive, but this one is incredibly straightforward and you can count on it. Next!